It is a dark place we have come to. I can hear the sorrows of our brothers and sisters. They are crying out with each sword stroke. Saturnin has tainted this place. Farewell. The 
Tawatha are here. Be the leader. That that was the leader. It must have been Saturnin. And if he's heading in there, that must be where the rest of the House of Sorrows are. We have to get past this door. We need to stop him before the rebels are all killed. Hall is a fortress in the Feylands. To get to its heart, we will need to open three great doors. There should be two other sigil stones that we can use in addition to the one before us. They will grant us passage. Farewell.
himself in the farewell. is cleared. This is splendid. I was worried I would have nothing left to see to after I slaughtered these wretches. You are mistaken, little one. 
I am not Saturnin. Though I can see where you might have made such a mistake, even I have not seen his face. But I have heard his voice, and the orders it carries, and that is enough. Now, let us fight! More amusing than I originally believed, but my master has given me instructions to spare you. Saturnin has a message for you to deliver to your master. This war is over. Soon the sorrows will belong to the Tuatha. I can scarcely believe it. All this death, all this destruction, and we have nothing to show for it. No Saturnin, no safety. The Weeping King left the world with good cause. For all that is left of the House of Sorrows is ruin. We... we must return to Bizring with this news. He will want to know what has happened here. Farewell.
This latest wound he has dealt may be fatal. He need only for us to succumb, and then he can find these sorrows. So that is what we will deny him. Let our losses harden our resolve. Where once we sought victory, we shall now seek attrition. Fae are the embodiment of magic. When a delver takes the burden of winter from a fae, those burdens are in the form of magic. Over centuries, these magics have been collected, contained in a secret location, the sorrows that Saturnin seeks. It is a difficult magic for a mortal mind to grasp, but the accumulation of centuries of sorrows is a fearsome weapon indeed. The burden of a single lifetime of sorrows can be debilitating. Their impact can instill madness or drive a life to end itself. Saturnin would hold a millennium of sorrows. With them, he could obliterate an army's morale and send them from victory to bedlam. Their location is an ancient secret. Only two Fae, the eldest, know. They left the house centuries ago to reside in Damalrock. The way to them is blocked by the Great Scale, a mighty spell which you must bypass. That alone will open your path to the Eldest. You must kill beasts on the pans of the Scale. Death is the only weight it will bear. It is a manifestation of magic that prevents intruders from disturbing the perpetual reverie of the Eldest. From what I understand, the sides of the room take the role of a scale, and whoever wishes passage must use death itself to manipulate the scale. The only weight the pans of the scale will acknowledge is death. When something dies on the scale, it will shift you one step closer to the Eldest. They know where the sorrows, Saturnin's true target, reside. We must rouse them from their reverie and learn from them. To reach them, one must brave the road southward to Dumblerock and pass the Great Scale.
Interested in a trinket or, or a gem? Another time. Now. <laughs> Hell, warrior.
It was a time of change. The cycles of the seasons turned as ever, but inside the bones of the earth, there lurked a cold. It was not the cold of winter. Beside the houses of sorrows, pride and vengeance, a new turmoil fomented, a magic hitherto unseen. Perchance met an Almain around here named Deod Dungaris? The damned fool got himself dragged off by Morgan. I'm a field researcher for the Livrarium in Edessa. I travel and acquire items for gnomes who know best what to do with them.
I hired him as a porter from the Rathir docks. It wasn't easy finding someone to accompany me to this swamp. Of course, the instant we're in sight of the castle, Morgan ambushed us and made off with him. If the disease and wildlife don't kill you, the Morgan will. As you've realized, if you've come this far, it's a dangerous swamp. I hadn't expected to be delayed there for so long. It was just impossible to sneak through the opposing lines before the siege was broken. Nasty creatures. They exploded out of the water and snatched Deod before I could react. I am on an important mission for Templar Julius Mavern. He has sent me to recover an artifact from Bunlock, this hulking castle here. Things haven't gone entirely to plan. I got stuck in Melsen Sheer for what seemed like an eternity, and now Morgan have run off with my porter. Would you help me out for a bit? I'll pay you for your time. I'm afraid I don't know the exact details, only that it is small and easy to carry. It must have been built by fools, constructed right in the middle of a Morgan breeding ground. Didn't take long for the Morgan to move in and make a feast of the original owners. Great. First, please retrieve my pack from those Morgan. Deod was carrying it when he was captured, and it contains the key to the castle. I'll meet you at the entrance to Bonloch once you've retrieved it. Deod was carrying it. They dragged him off to the north.
mortals stole the secrets of magic. And now they come to take our land. The all that they fight here shall be death. <laughs> of a simple army. How will you fare, I wonder, against the power of a god? Of course you aren't. You may be a foolish, unclean sin against the natural order, but I'll grant that you're no coward. The only solution is for you to be cleansed when Tiernok the Merciful comes to our world. Soon. Found my pack and the key to Bonlock. It's still here. Good. Now we just need to find that artifact. A shame about poor Dead. He was a steadfast worker, and I never heard a complaint out of him. Oh well, these things happen. I'll meet you inside, and we'll begin our search for the artifact. There are rumblings in the court of winter. There are Fae who are preaching beyond a world of rot. They fly in the face of sorrows, the cycles. They do not honor our tradition, but they are wrong. There is no winter without death. There is no growth without decay. <laughs> 